Hi guys, welcome back. It feels like it's been a minute. I missed filming. I didn't mean to ghost you all last week. I took a week off for my vacation and then I caught a bug on the way back so I was sick all week. But this morning I woke up feeling amazing. I can smell out of both nostrils and I can say over 10 words without coughing. So it's a fantastic day. Usually I film a pack with me before I go on a trip. Things got a little hectic before I left so I didn't have the time to. But today I'm going to show you what I packed and what I brought on my trip. I also thought it'd be fun to show you the look I ended up wearing the most. And I'll also talk about the things I could have left at home. So before we dive into my makeup bag, I would love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get started. I packed a little differently for this trip. My usual makeup bag that I take on trips is too big. It allows me to overpack like crazy. So I took this makeup bag instead that I got in PR from NARS and I packed my makeup brushes in this little bag and it worked out great because it was able to really condense in my carry-on. I attempted to go carry-on but I did end up having to shove this in my boyfriend's checked bag. But you know, the intention was there. I tried. <laughs> I'll give you guys a quick glance at the inside of my makeup bag here. But I think we should start with the fragrance that's right on top here. I received this in PR right before leaving and I love taking new perfumes on trips that I know are going to be very meaningful and full of new memories because after I get back and I hide the perfume away for a little bit and then I smell it again, it just brings back all those special memories. And this one is the K. Alley The Wedding Silk Santal 36 and it is delightful. It's very, very sweet but warm and kind of musky. It just fit the trip really nicely because it was such a sweet trip. Even now, just smelling it, it's only been a week, but I am getting flashbacks of little memories and it's making me really happy. It has notes of sparkling champagne, white freesia, pink praline, lush nectarine, sandalwood, and sugared musk. It's delightful. K. Alley has quickly become my favorite for fragrances. I fall in love with every single perfume that they bring out. I highly recommend you giving this a whiff next time you're in store. It's delightful. Now let's get into the contents of my makeup bag. First thing on top here is my SPF. I put it in my makeup bag just so I ensured that I applied it every day. This is the Beauty of Josen SPF. It's an SPF 50 and it's amazing. This is my new number one. It has such a nice consistency. It feels really nice and hydrating, but it's also a very thin consistency. It doesn't leave a white cast at all. It wears beautifully under makeup. It doesn't sting my eyes. It doesn't leave a lingering SPF smell on my skin. And it just feels really nice and calming and it doesn't break me out, which you wouldn't know right now because my skin's kind of freaking out. I don't know why, but it's just one of those weeks. And I just love the healthy skin glow it gives my skin, but it doesn't impede on the makeup I put on top. Now getting into the makeup products, I packed one primer and it was, of course, the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I brought the pink one that has niacinamide in it. I like how this one has a bit of a thicker texture. My trip, you guys, my trip was magnificent. I am leaving it with so many beautiful memories and I fell in love with the UK. I was only there for two and a half days so I need to go back and adventure more. But we started in Warwick because that's where my boyfriend's dad lives. So we explored around there that day. And then the following day, we met up with some of his family in Windsor to tour the Windsor Castle and that surrounding area, that place was stunning. Taking a brief pause, I'm now going to move on to my foundation and concealer I packed. I didn't end up bringing a skin tint or foundation, which was a little risky, but it ended up working out. I didn't miss any of my go-tos. I just took my NYX Bear With Me Serum Concealers in two shades. I took light and beige. I'm going to be going in with beige today all over my skin since I have a little bit of a tan. I'm using this on my face and under my eyes. So I'm just going to take some on a little palette here and I never applied it like a foundation. I would only use it in areas I needed it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And this worked out really, really well, especially while I was in Greece because it was so hot. I needed to just wear little tiny layers of makeup. I don't think I've ever experienced that much heat. <laughs> it was between 38 and 42 degrees the entire trip. And that's a lot for my Canadian self. When it gets 25 degrees Celsius in Canada, I'm like, I have to go inside. I, it's too hot. I got heat stroked one day and I had to spend two days inside. So hot there. 
But yes, I need to go back to the UK. It was beautiful. I just love the architecture and I need to go back and visit London because I only spent a few hours there and it was at nighttime. I was like, I could be anywhere in the world right now. This is just, it just feels like a city. I can't see anything. <laughs> I need to go back. <laughs> but now I'm just blending this out quickly with my BK Beauty 101 brush and I'm kind of patting it in kind of working it into that primer to really squish it in there and lock this in. I packed two powders, one for my under eyes and one for all over my face. For my under eyes, I packed the Jones Road Tinted Face Powder in the shade Pink. So I'm going to use this to set my under eyes right now and I'll use the other Kosas powder later on. And I love setting my under eyes with a powder puff. I feel like it really pushes that powder into the concealer and really sets it at a deeper level. And I just get a flawless finish every single time. And this powder is so nice and blurring and it lasted through that extreme heat. I only packed one highlighter and it was the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Selenite and they came up with travel versions. So this was amazing. And I would just put a little bit on my high points. This was one of my most used products of the trip. Some days I didn't wear makeup especially on like beach days, but I still wanted like a little bit of a glow. I would just throw this on and it was wonderful. And I love how quick and easy it is to blend out with like a finger or a sponge. I prefer sponge. I feel like it's just a little bit of a quicker application and you get such a seamless look. But it's a really nice highlight. It's very subtle, but impactful. Now moving into bronzers and contours. Surprisingly, I didn't touch this at all. This is the Clinique Sunkissed Face Jelly. And it was because I forgot a makeup palette like this and I didn't want to use my hand because I knew it was going to leave behind a stain and I didn't want that in all of my pictures. So sadly, I could have left this at home. I also packed my Milk Makeup Toasted Sculpt Stick. I didn't use this either. This could have stayed as well. But these are the two bronzers I would use interchangeably. Of course, my makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer came with me. I'm surprised I came home with some. Um, I'm almost finished this. I used the shade Light Medium, but I fell head over heels in love with this bronzer. This is the Surat bronzer in the shade Soleil Dew. My favorite thing about it is the tone. It's such a nice golden hue and the consistency is so nice to work with. It is very, very similar to the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer, but a lot more pigmented. It doesn't give as soft as a look as that one. It's a bit more dramatic, which I liked for like a beachy trip. I feel like it gave me a really natural bronzed look. Um, it has like a really nice pearl running through it, so it does give more of a glow than just a matte powder bronzer would but it's so easy to just throw on. But when you feel it in the pan, you can feel like it's a hydrated powder. There's some moisture in there. And I'm applying this using my MAC 143S brush. I think it gives such a pretty skin finish and the color is just so good. But now moving into blush. I have three that always stay in my makeup bag. I have two minis from Rare Beauty, one in the shade Believe and the other Happy. I didn't use these at all. I think they just floated to the bottom of my makeup bag and I just forgot they were packed. I also packed the Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Beauty Light Wand in the shade Pinkgasm. I have a little mini of this too. And then I have four full-size ones. I brought my Etude Dear Darling Water Tint in the shade Cherry Aid. This was a last second product I threw in, but this is the Patrick Tush She's So LA Duo. I love to layer these two, I'll put this one underneath and then I'll make it a more bronzy red using this blush. It's a stunning combination. I also packed another one of my favorite blush combinations, the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Plumping Blush Veil in the shade Barely Blushing with the Dior Rosy Glow Rosewood Blush too. So beautiful. But the blush I wore the most often turned out to be this one here. I just loved how quick it was to apply and it just gave me a really fresh and radiant look. Some of the days I would prioritize my sleep for sure. So then I wouldn't have a lot of time to get ready. And in those instances, I always prioritize my most important makeup steps and this would always be the first one. It was just so quick and sometimes it can be a two-in-one makeup step because it kind of has a built-in highlight too but the color was just so pretty and fresh. It made me look really awake, even though I was super jet lagged. 
<laughs> I have my Little Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. This is a little mini travel size. This is something that always stays in my makeup bag too. Um, I used it a few times. I didn't use this every day though. I think I kind of forgot it was there. But I'm gonna use a little... The sprayer on that is not very good anymore. It just super soaked my skin. <laughs> That was not good. I think that's why I didn't use it much. I remember now. Did me so dirty. <laughs> oh my god. Hold on. Hold please. Now that that's kind of dried, I'm going to set my skin using my Kosas powder and I have it in the shade Feathery. This one's so nice and blurring and it's the perfect kind of blotting powder. It will just kind of reset my makeup and make it look refreshed. I packed my travel size freck just so I could fill in my little beauty spots here or my freckles. I have one here and right here. I would do that and I'd be happy about it. I am going to prime my lids using my Fenty Beauty eye primer. It's the best one, especially if you have oily lids. I like to apply some right in the center of my eye going downwards like that. I don't put it all over my eyelid. This ends up being the perfect amount for my whole lid. And I like to do it before my brows so I can be kind of messy with it. I don't like dodging my brows. And by the time my brows are on, it's set and ready for eyeshadow. So I brought a few things for my brows. For my brow pencil, I took this Kosas Brow Pop Nano. This one's really, really tiny and micro, which is good when my brows are freshly tinted. But I did kind of regret bringing this one because near the end of my trip, the sun had bleached my brows and I would have to go in with so much of this one. So I wish I just packed my normal one but it is really, really nice, especially if you just have a few sparse areas to fill in, or if you like to do little hair like strokes with it, you can, because it's so incredibly micro. And it's not a super creamy, it feels more on the waxy side, which is good, because if it was creamy, you'd run through this thing in less than a week. <laughs> then I would take my NYX Lift and Snatch in the shade Espresso to kind of fill in and give more dimension to my brows. Then I would set them with the Rare Beauty Eyebrow Gel, which I am completely in love with. It only did me dirty one of the days, and I think that was just because of a user mistake. I used just way too much of it, so it dried in my brows and it looked kind of crusty. But this one's great. You can laminate your brows with it, or you can just do a nice setting job like I'm doing today. It has incredible hold. But now that my brows are done, I'm going to let that brow gel set. So in the meantime, enjoy the intermission. Now moving on to eye things, I packed quite a few eyeliners. I love eyeliner and I kept them all together with a hair elastic, which made my life so much easier on my trip. So I never spent a lot of time rummaging through my makeup bag trying to find a little pencil. So that's a little, little tip there. I have the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in the shade Limitless Brown. I have two of the Melt Cosmetics waterline eye pencils, one in ivory and the other cacao. And I came home to a very exciting package. They launched three new shades. This is a random side note, but they came out with a reddish brown, a black and a white. That's all I've been wanting forever. <laughs> I'm so excited to use those. Um, I also packed the Huda Beauty Black Creamy Coal. Didn't use that, that could have stayed behind, but I always pack a black pencil just in case if I wanna do a classic wing. Um, and the last pencil here is this Clio Glittering Eye Stick. And this is awesome. It's like a sheer glittery stick and it's so gorgeous. It is beautiful. So because I prioritize sleep, I didn't have much time to pull out crazy eye looks. So I'll show you the one I did the most often. So I would take the Limitless Brown eyeliner from Makeup Forever and I would draw a C shape around my eye, kind of like so. And then I took my Refer 03 brush and I would kind of smoke and wing this out. And I like this because it didn't need to be super precise. It was just supposed to look kind of smudgy. I 
after the initial smudge, I would take a little bit more and keep that pretty tight just to make that the darkest area. Then I would take the Clio Twinkle Pop liner and I have the shade 11 Glit Me and I would put this on the rest of my lash line on top and underneath. And then I would go over with that refer brush to kind of sprinkle them about. Then I would finish with a little bit of the shade from my Charlotte Tilbury the Super Nudes Easy Eye Palette in the crease, just so that my eyes didn't look unbalanced to me. And that was my super simple eye look that looked amazing in photos in all different types of lighting. This Twinkle Pop uh, eye stick looks incredible in direct sunlight and in low light settings. It just looks like pixie dust. It's stunning. Now I'm going to curl the living hell out of my lashes using my Shiseido eyelash curler and then I would go in with none other but my Clio Kill Lash Mascara in volume curling This was the best mascara for my trip. It is just truly the best one in general It would be perfect for every situation Especially on our little boat day when I was in and out of the ocean. It stayed put my tube is getting a little dried though, so it needs a little help from my velour needle comb here. And I know many of you have tried this mascara and you can't figure out how to take it off. Mine comes off right away with a cleansing oil. I use the Florisys cleansing oil or the Shu Umera one and it comes right off with either one. And I like to do a second layer just on my outer lower lashes to make that area extra dark. And there we are. These are the eyes I would do the most often on my trip. Now it's time for the lip tour. So I packed four lip liners. I took two of the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0s, one in the shade Pinky Brown and the other Honey Beige. I also packed my Tower 28 One Liner in the shade Fill Me In and the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. I gave all of these a whirl. I think the one I used the most though was Honey Beige from Huda Beauty. I liked how it just brought in some of the bronzy tones into my lip combo too. I brought a lot of the Romand lip products. I brought one of the Glasting Water Tints in the shade Rose Stream. I packed three of the Juicy Lasting Tints, Bear Grape, Pomelo Skin, and Nucadamia. I also packed my Cherry Pick Lip Color Butter from About Face in the shade Pomplumos which comes with me everywhere. It's such a nice kind of mauvey pink. I took my MAC Squirt Stick in the shade Heat Sensor, which was so lovely to layer on top of Honey Beige from Huda Beauty and the Cherry Aid uh, Cheek and Lip Stain. And the last lip product I packed was the Half Magic Beauty Gloss in the shade Frosty Bitch. This looks beautiful in a beach setting. It's just a super glittery gloss and it gives just such a plumping look to your lips without being a plumping product. But the lip combo I ended up wearing the most was Honey Beige with Romand Bear Grape. It just kind of tied this look all together. And Bear Grape would tie in the Charlotte Tilbury blush. And this is a staining product, so I didn't have to worry about touching up my lips. I feel like this look looked way better in Europe. <laughs> I think it was because it was so humid there, so it just made the products melt into my skin so much better. My skin is freaking out with the dry Alberta climate right now. <laughs> but here is the makeup look I wore the most often on my trip. I feel like it embodies my style, and it also is so cute and flattering in photos, and it lasted really well throughout those long days of exploring. But that is everything I packed with me on my trip. Let me know if you enjoyed the style more than the pack with me style, or I could incorporate both, but I'm excited to hear your guys' feedback in the comments. That's going to be everything from me. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I will link and list everything in the description down below, so feel free to check that out, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.